Well, we knew early on that uh, Derek and his team uh, had uh, secured Vicki and uh, had had her uh, taken down and put into crates and had her stored in a, in a location. And uh, we were all asking ourselves at Yesco, you know, what's going to happen with Vicki? And then it was in uh, uh, late spring, early summer of last year, we got the call uh, to go pick up Vicki. We uh, loaded her up with our trucks and uh, shipped her over to uh, Yesco. She was in pretty rough shape, you know. Uh, she was sitting outside for, uh, for many years. This is her 40th year, uh, so she's looking really good for uh, 40. We took all the neon off. Uh, we had to make patterns um, so we knew exactly how to uh, um, you know, recreate the, uh, the paint finish and all the details that you see behind me into its exact form as she was in uh, 1980. And then uh, all the neon was, uh, was refabricated. She was brought into this property in one piece with the exception of her leg. And uh, our team hoisted her up into place without the neon, uh, attached her leg, got all of that working and then wrapped her all up. And it wasn't until recently that we took the wrapping off and started applying all the neon and doing all the electrical work to light her up. We're very fortunate we get to work on a lot of Vegas uh, uh, landmarks, you know, to get the call, to get involved in bringing one of the historical signs back to life and preserving the, the sign. She's still kicking, as they say, and you'll see that uh, uh, at opening.